Now why in the name of my despicable ancestors would I even consider such a notion? You're my enemy! I'm content to sit back and watch as Vermina and Periyke steal back whatever they think Hermaeus Mora took from them. You know nothing of the Telvanni outsider, or of me. But I will admit that I hate it when a greater power reneges on a mutually advantageous agreement. Frankly, my role in all this was more difficult than what I requested of the princes. I decrypted Meln's Black Book, perfected Blight Crown's subterfuge concoction, and performed the rite that gave Vermina access to Apocrypha. And all for a simple favor. Eliminate my competition, and elevate me to the rank of Archmagister. I see what you did there. Clever. I suppose I've been taken off the board. A bit of revenge on my part is probably called for. The path to the memory Vermina seeks lies through the infinite Panopticon. Torvasad will lead her there. It started with Torvasad and his dream of something lost long ago. He needed someone to acquire Meln's Black Book and perform the rite. In return, he would help me achieve my dream of becoming Archmagister, as long as I pledged myself to Vermina. Torvasad behaves like a broker, bringing disparate parties together for mutual benefit. In truth, I now believe this is all about Torvasad. He has his own agenda. Anyway, he convinced the princes to set aside their differences and work together. Truth be told, I never much cared. All I wanted was to do what was asked of me and get my reward. Instead, I got a dagger in the back from that disgusting Blight Crown. They believe Hermaeus Mora stole something from them. From all of us, really. It involves Torvasad's dream. He had vague visions of a Vermina shrine, believed it was important. So he asked Vermina to help him recall the entire dream. When she failed, he expanded his list of allies. That's where the hidden kindred came in. Look, maybe Mora stole Torvasad's favorite sweet roll recipe. I wouldn't put it past the Prince of Fate. He collects knowledge like House Lalu hoards gold. All I know is Vermina and Periyde want the memory back, but Torvasad wants it more. Silent, you say? Then my enhanced subterfuge concoction worked. <laughs> I told Blight Crown I could do it. I took Blight Crown's mix of disease and dream, and with a few adjustments to the right, enhanced its ability to hide them a thousandfold. If Mora has gone silent, it means it affected him too. Cut him off from his own realm. Am I a genius or what? Oh, fear not. You can't separate a Daedric Prince from their realm for very long. Should last just long enough for Vermina to get whatever she's after. Of course, who can say what will happen when a realm and its prince are sundered even briefly? I can't absolve you of your transgression, spirit, but I can grant you peace. Eternal disappointment, more likely. Let's return to Necrom and tell Laramil what we learned. <laughs>